I wanted to show you a couple tricks uh, when it comes to toolpath simulation. I like to see the toolpath simulated on the actual part, but I also like to see the scalps that I'm going to be left with as far as cleanup, especially when it comes to three axis parts like the one here. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So I've got a part here, it's program, a little spiral toolpath. So let's go ahead and simulate this. So it's in a block and you know, that's fine. I mean, it's an accurate uh, representation maybe of, you know, machine this out of block, but really I want to see it on the part. So now inside of GibbsCamp 2015, we have this tool motion on target body. So I can do this, I can hit play, and you can see the tool path on the body. And that's fine too, except really what I'm not seeing is any material removal. So let's say, for instance, this might be a casting that I wanted to take a final cut of, say, 25 thousandths off of. How do I represent that accurately inside of Gibbs Camera? I'll show you a couple tricks here that's really, that are really handy to do that. So let's go ahead and shut this off. I don't need my tool paths right now. So here's my part. I'm going to open up my body bag. I'm just going to double click on the solid. It's going to put it in the body bag. You can see that it's yellow and it's still highlighted. So I'm going to click Control C for copy. And I'm going to click in my main screen. I'm going to hit Control V for paste. So now I have two parts. I'm going to take one of these parts. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say body type, stock. And I'm just going to click in the, in the name here. And I'm going to go ahead and change that name just so I know to stock. All right, so it's blue. So we know that it's stock because it changed colors. So now I have this part, which is blue and this part, which is the part which is stock, but they're both basically the same size. What I want is I want to change the size of the stock. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my solids modeling tools over here on the right, and I'm going to click on my advanced solid modeling. In here, I'm going to go ahead and click on shell offset. I'm going to click offset. I'm going to put in 25 thousandths, select the model, and click do it. This is going to grow the model by 25 thousandths on all surfaces. You can see it a little bit. See how it's going over the stock here now? But, you know, really what I want is I want to see the difference between this stock and the part, even in this representation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is a neat little trick. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on, let me select this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit click on user color. I'm going to come to the very top. I'm going to change it to blue, but the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here, and that little, when I said right here, it's this little slider at the bottom changes the transparency of that solid model. So we can see that it changed the transparency. So now I'm going to open up my body bag again and open my part, and I can actually see the difference between that stock that I increased and the part. So now I'm going to come back, there's my tool paths. I'm going to go ahead and do my simulation. I don't want to see it on the part because I want to use my stock and click play. And now we can see that we're actually seeing the difference between that stock and my actual solid model. So I showed you a couple tricks there, copy pasting solids, uh, changing a little bit of color and transparency for a solid, and also how to make a solid a little bit bigger so we can see a representation like this. If you have any questions about machine simulation, uh, part toolpath simulation, please feel free to contact your local reseller or give Gibbscam tech support a call. Thank you so much for watching.